Hi, this is Dr. J from JNL Research and Exploration. Now, right across my right shoulder here, you'll see a beautifully, beautiful building, beautiful architecture. That's the Balboa Pavilion, which has been in existence since 1906 on Balboa Peninsula in the city of Newport Beach. In 1905, the War Department granted these folks to have a 210 foot of waterfront for various activities, yacht racing, fishing, tours of the bay and, and outer island, and also this is where you can take, today, you can take boats to Catalina, and they also have races and stuff like that. In 1981, California granted as a historic, uh, historical point of interest in the state of California on Balboa Island. And real quick, real a short story, in 1973, when the movie Jaws came out, my cousin Eddie and I actually, at midnight, swam across the bay in kind of a silly and stupid boy way to see who would be brave against. The problem is, about halfway, both of us felt seaweed on our feet, and at that point, it was about the second time in recorded history that people walked across water. Again, this is in our backyard. What's in your backyard? See you later. At JNL, we explore places in our own backyard. Today, we're at Newport Beach. Beautiful weather. Couldn't ask, and this is winter. So what we do is we, we ask you to go and explore your own neighborhoods, okay? And you don't have to have millions of dollars to live on the island or Newport Beach. What you can do is get in your car, drive that 45 minutes to an hour away from your home, go out and explore, walk around a place like this, walk around this gorgeous island, take the ferry across the Balboa Peninsula, see the pavilion, historical pavilion, enjoy the day, enjoy yourself. And you know what? While you're out, grab some nice food at one of these beautiful restaurants. You know, there's something about That's taking a walk along the beach. Just being down in a beach community just makes you feel healthier. You want to walk, visit, see people, see the sights. You've got a lot of beautiful homes and businesses here. And it's good to get out and enjoy the fresh air. That's Dr. John from JNL Research and Exploration, inviting you to come along on some of our adventures. You never know what you might see. And that's why we do it. What are you waiting for? Come on, there's adventure right around this corner. Today we're in Southern California, a place called Mormon Rocks. This wilderness area received that uh, name because a group of Mormons in the uh, early 19th century were making their way through Southern California and decided to camp here. This is where, and the beautiful panoramic views of these mountains are, are unbelievable. Now it must be known, this is in our own backyard, and I'm wondering what's in your own backyard, because a mile to the southeast is Highway 15. That's one of the busiest highways in Southern California. Directly behind me is Highway 138. This is in our own backyard, but it is the wilderness. So what I'd like is everyone to really start looking around their own neighborhoods and seeing what's in your own backyard. Because that's what we... Hi, I'm Dr. John from JNL Research and Exploration, inviting you to come along with, our, with us on our adventures. Many times we just look in our own backyard and we find adventure there. And I'm screwing this up, but I'm going to go into this cave and, and go in the cave. I'm Dr. John from JNL Research and Exploration, inviting you to come along on some of our adventures. There's an old saying, take the road less traveled. At JNL, that's what we do. What are you waiting for? There's adventure right down this cave. Hi. Hi. So how did you think it went today, the shooting? Really good. Yeah? Really good. I felt pretty good about it. We had some good light. 
uh, interrupted by a train a couple of times, yeah. but that's the area. It's called shooting, and uh, you can't say quiet on the set when uh, you've got trains going by up the valley. We can't control it all. So what did you think of the location today, Mormon Rocks? Beautiful, beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it the history of it's fascinating, you know, the, the Mormons coming through, the pioneers coming through, and I think from J and L's point of view, I think what we want to do is we, we, we want people to know that in their own backyard they can do research and then go explore. You know, they can always watch us, but they can do it on their own, and that's what we want. We want people to understand that there's so much in someone's backyard, in your own backyard, if you take the time to do the research and then to go out and explore. I mean, I love the exploring, I love the hiking around, and I like the little fun aspect of it that Mormon Rocks is not just historically important, but it's been the scene for so many movies, Star Trek and Big Bang Theory and all these things. I mean, that's kind of fun, too. Yeah, well, we're Southern California, we have Hollywood, so of course, you know, it's all going to be here. But I think that's what we want to tell people is, you know, take the road less traveled, and that, that's the whole thing behind Jane. So, congratulations, good day. And to you, Jay. And now, wishing you the best.